now we are switching over to detail electronic configuration say uh, when i am talking about electronic configuration here we discussed that k l m etc or shell number 1 shell number 2 shell number 3 and so on but we observed certain problems in that and for that purpose we are switching over to this different model of electronic configuration we are calling that as aufbau principle this is german word meaning is to fill up so we are going to fill up electrons here the principle that was given by niels bohr in order to get idea of this niels bohr's model or spdf level electronic configuration uh, we should discuss further that when we are having a shell shell is divided into sub shells say for example shell number 5 it is divided into sub shell as spdf so first sub shell is s second is p third is d and fourth is f so like that for every shell say n equal to 1 n equal to 2 n equal to 3 like that for every shell there are sub shells as s p d f so uh, we should be more clear this way that initially i am saying the name of shell as k l m n and so on but we are aware that k that means n equal to 1 l that means n equal to 2 what is n n is principal quantum number or main shell number here we are getting n equal to 3 here we are getting n equal to 4 and so on whereas sub shells they are called as s p d and f now it is not necessary that all sub shells should be present in k or l but these are numbers of sub shells present in every shell means for k there is s p and so on actually these are the numbers if zero number is there we are calling that as s p that is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 i can't write electronic configuration like that n equal to 1 that is first shell then it is zero and then number of electron you may read this as 10 square in order to eliminate this confusion this zero number is given as s so what i am writing here i am writing this way 1 s and then 2 so i am now clear that when i am writing 1 s 2 what is the meaning of that the main shell is one sub shell that is s and in that sub shell two electrons are there so that's why i am writing here two so this way main shell is divided into four sub shell these sub shells are also called as azimuthal quantum number but right now i am not interested in teaching you principal quantum number azimuthal quantum number etc terminology right now so first we are focusing on electronic configuration you are now aware that uh, sub shells are divided into uh, that main shell is divided into four sub shell that is s p d and f uh, now right now forget of these values so main shells are divided into four sub shell they are s p d f so like that you have to keep in mind now here i am writing out sub shells in corner they are s p d f these sub shells are present in every shell not necessary all but sub shells are only this and on head of this we are writing out capacitors now you are aware of the word capacity capacity is maximum number of electron here i can accommodate so here i am writing 2 while reading we have to read s2 
and don't read out s square many students are uh, pronouncing this as s square this is not s square this is actually in chemistry language we are saying it is s2 now p p is having maximum capacity at 6 d is having maximum capacity of 10 and f is having maximum capacity that is of 14 that means i can accommodate 14 electrons in f but not 15th electron in f but i can accommodate 13 12 11 10 any number of electron in f why because maximum capacity is 14 now here uh, i am constructing out a chart now you are aware that various writing systems are there in world say for example whatever the indo european category of languages usually we are saying indian languages that is hindi marathi gujarati kannad etc they are writing out from left side to right side in history you must have studied that in punjab and sindh territory that is in indus valley persian people introduce a script that is called as kharoshtri script that is written from right to left like urdu they are writing out from right and moving towards left in english we are writing from left to right there are certain languages they are writing from like japanese or chinese i don't know exactly but they are writing from top to bottom okay but chemistry is something different than that all now here whatever diagram i am giving i am writing from bottom to top getting idea so first i am writing here one s you are aware one is principal shell main shell first and s then i am writing out here two s in front of that i am writing two p so i am starting out from bottom and moving towards top here i am writing say one one number increase out 3s then here 3p here 3d so as sp df as shells are getting higher and higher we are adding out one one more shell over here now 4 s 4p 4d 4f okay here i want to communicate different message with you that please take a pen notebook and try to lie, write here along with me because this is very very fundamental topic in chemistry if you are getting thorough knowledge perfect knowledge here then chemistry is very very easy for you otherwise no chance so try to get this concept very clearly so take out notebook and write down along with me so 4f then 5s 5p 5d Phi F. Here something should be there, but uh, not of our use right now. So I am maintaining now here only F shell as last. Then it is six S, six P, six D, and six F. Seven S, seven P, seven D, and seven F. You may say, okay. what we have to continue we can continue 8 9 10 and so on till what number in finite but practically speaking uh, this chart is sufficient whatever elements they are naturally occurring in periodic table or whatever we are aware that natural occurring element you are aware that atomic number 92 uranium is last naturally occurring element so here i am writing out this till here now i have to connect the chart here i should write down this way this chart is helpful for electronic configuration purpose so i am making this chart so it is 1s 2s like that we are just connecting out a point like in rangoli we are making out point and then connecting out same way see i am connecting out point i means you are also supposed to do the same thing
now see we have to start our journey from this point 1 second number third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth and tenth so this way we have to follow let us check out slowly and steadily now uh, we have this chart and i hope you have drawn this chart otherwise pause this video and first finish out this drawing of chart and then uh, we can go for electronic configuration again 